Hey guys, how you doing? Swears is here. Uh, disclaimer, no investment advice provided. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Right guys, let's get into a uh, dead quick update video on ODX. As you know, for you guys on Twitter and YouTube, I've made a, several uh, videos recently on, on ODX on how I see the markets moving. And uh, I've done loads and loads of charts on it, uh, but... Uh, the videos seem quite popular, so uh, let's get into uh, let's get into looking at this update on Amiga Diagnostics Group PLC. In incidentally, on TradingView, if we look at the technicals on TradingView, it says it's a sell. <laughs> it's saying sell ODX. So uh, I don't know. I kind of disagree with uh, that analysis. In my humble opinion, not financial advice, obviously. So. I've done a redraw on ODX as well. If we look at more local action on the daily chart and every candle is a day, I've redrawn this channel, funnily enough, this morning, and um, it's a slight adjustment to the overall macro channel, which is the bigger picture, right, with ODX. And this, uh, this bigger macro channel, this trend, as we can see, like kind of like started like mid-March of this year, 2020, right? So, as we know, with, with this stock, with ODX, it, it, it bounced up, right? Hits an all-time high, and it's been reversing pretty much since early October, right? It hit this all-time high, and it's moving down in a asymmetrical descending triangle, Right? And I drew some key levels of support. If you look at my previous video, guys, my key levels of support, which emanated from 2007, strong areas of historical support, right? I've met them red, so we can just see them a little bit clear, clearer, right? So I'm called, I called it out uh, several times that I think ODX has found support. I think it's found strong support, but... The market's moving patterns, and this pattern on the daily is a descending triangle, right? Which has is not failed; it's failed, should I say? Sorry, to break out of this descending triangle yet. Still not broke out of it yet. So if we screw down to the four hour, right, we can see price action a little bit clearer. So we can see it's as plain as day. This is an asymmetrical descending triangle in a downtrend. Looks like it's found support here. So what I'm expecting, I'm expecting price to break to the up with ODX at some point real soon. The million dollar question, right, is will price want to revisit this support and interact with this level of support first before it makes its move? Or will price want to break out to the law? Because the market makers and the, the, peoples that, the people that move the markets... <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, they have plans, in my opinion. They have plans on how stocks move, right? Uh, call it predestination, if you like. Uh, it doesn't really matter what your belief system is. The reality is that all markets move in patterns. And to deny that technical analysis is a real thing is really, I think you're doing yourselves a disservice because why would you not want to learn some sort of skill, even to a basic proficiency, that can give you an advantage in seeing how the markets move. Why would you not want to explore that? So many people I see on Twitter dismiss technical analysis. And you only need to look at my Swayze's charts Twitter account, which has been running now for what, four and a half months or so. Three and a half thousand tweets, thousands of charts. And many of those charts have a very high degree of accuracy. It, it's not luck, it's not chance, it's being able to decode uh, the way the markets move and, and use, it for our, use it to our advantage, in my opinion, right? And the opinion of many others as well. We have Swayze's Charts Discord where I teach my system of technical analysis to the students. 70 plus students now, hundreds of charts, many, many hours of specific content uh, created, video tutorials back testing videos, forward testing videos, and many videos and charts splitting down 
to the separate elements of this particular system of technical analysis, which doesn't really rely on indicators. And many people seem to enjoy the simplicity of it, you know? Why try and be clever by throwing everything onto a chart, which makes the chart unreadable, it makes it user unfriendly. Keep it simple, keep it minimalist, and just concentrate on the information that's important, in my opinion, right? What is this stock gonna do? What are, what are the moves that are playing out before our very eyes? So anyway, I'll stop waffling, guys. Four-hour chart. Let's see whether or not uh, price wants to break out of this descending triangle. And let's see whether or not the dealers want to, the market makers, the dealers want to bounce it down a couple more times, or do they want to break through? Look, I might be completely wrong. Don't take this as any sort of financial advice. This is my opinion. It might crash to the ground. Who knows what's going to happen, right? We are taking... A calculated guess to the best of our abilities using a proven system that's what we're doing here all right so uh, this is what we're trying to suss out so let's see when that bell rings tomorrow morning right let's see what happens let's see how how the dealers want to play the moves right you have to have patience in this game right uh, this is not day trading these are looking at moves over longer periods of time if we look back to the daily ODX guys, we can see that we've got this particular move in the short term. It's still locked into that. There's many other uh, stocks that are moving in similar fashion at the minute, but I'm just going to concentrate on a quick video. I'll put this on YouTube and then I'll, I'll embed it into Twitter. Hope you guys find it useful, but I am expecting some bullish action real soon with this mover. Market structure tells us up ahead, right, if this is a real thing, that price might want to revisit its all-time high and possibly even break through. All right, guys, uh, I'll leave this in Twitter. Hope everyone's well. Thanks for all the positive comments. Thanks for the new followers. I really appreciate your support. Hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I'll see you knocking around on Twitter.